You organize a Java application by dividing it up into classes. If you were to describe what your application does, think of classes as the nouns in that description. So if you were building an ordering system, you might have classes representing customers, orders, and products. If you were building a game where you knock down a structure with a cannon, you might have classes for the cannon, the projectiles, and the blocks of the structure. Let's take a minute to organize the classes we need for our airline reservation system. Remember that this is a simplified design. We will only need a few classes, whereas a reservation system for a commercial airline may have 20 or more. The core of our reservation system is going to be a class called Ticket. The ticket will contain or link to all the other information in the system. One of the core pieces of information that will be on that ticket is the passenger, so we'll create a separate class just for the passenger. It will contain information such as their name. Now I've drawn an arrow between the ticket class and the passenger class. This is called the relationship between the two classes. And the direction that the arrow is pointing indicates that the ticket has a passenger. Now, if you've ever made an airline reservation, you also know that, of course, that ticket has a flight. So we'll create a class for the flight. The flight will contain information such as the destination city, the time of your departure, etc. So every ticket will have a passenger and a flight. And finally, when you purchase a ticket, you are also reserving your seat. Now this is one place that we are really simplifying this system. We only own one airplane, and that airplane has six seats on it. In a commercial reservation system, each flight might involve a different airplane with different seating arrangements. So therefore, we would need classes for the aircraft, the seating layout, and so forth. Since we only have one airplane, those six seats will be the same for every flight. And so therefore, we will just link them directly to the ticket. This will keep things simple for the application that we're building. If you later go on to learn more about enterprise application design, you'll deal with these more complex structures. So these are the four main classes that we will start with as we build our application.